Aracha Leon, everybody. Welcome back to my daily Euskera practice. I had my Basque class last night and the teacher announced we're technically getting to the end of the semester. Um, so she wants to do a big quiz to review everything we've been working on the last few months. So she said she's going to give us next week off of class to review on our own. <laughs> That's ambitious. And um, then we're going to meet back in two weeks. We're going to have like a take home quiz. But she highly encouraged us to really study for this quiz, take it seriously and only use our notes and refer to our course material as like a last resort, but to try as best we can to complete this quiz just on our own based on what we've learned. Now, this means I'm gonna be doing a lot of revision and I've come to the conclusion, I've been doing this daily vlog for like two weeks now, that I really need more revision. The class I take is all kind of like keep moving forward um, but I'm finding that like, how are you going to build if you don't have the foundation? So I have, I have some sort of a foundation, but I feel like it's very rocky right now. A lot of the things that we like learned, we learned months ago and then never saw again. And then when it comes up again in different examples, like I'm lost, it's like I'm back to square one. So I really want to spend the next few weeks just revising everything I've already learned. And so hopefully it won't be such a shock to me whenever I have to go back and like tell time, you know? <laughs> so, um, so our teacher suggested that we spend this time creating a little vocabulary book to help us learn the vocabulary we've already seen because let's see, we're on unit 12 right now. We learned the vocabulary, for example, for clothing back in unit seven, which we were studying over a year ago. So <laughs> that needs to be reseen. So I thought that was a great idea to work on a vocabulary book because to learn a language, right? You have to know words. And if you don't know words, you got nothing to say. You can't talk about anything. So I went to my bookshelf because we're not, we're not really shopping right now, are we? I'm not really going out to browse notebooks. I found on my shelf this little booklet um, that's been sitting around in my stuff for, I wanna say eight years, okay? Because eight-ish years ago, I took a, like a book binding workshop. So this is like a little handmade booklet that I made ages ago. And I, I don't know, it was too pretty or cute. I didn't want to ruin it, I guess, so I never put anything in it. But I also never got rid of it because I worked hard for this booklet. So I figured now's the time to use it. So this is going to be my new Esquara vocabulary booklet. And so I'm going to be working on this. And I wanted to start with clothing vocabulary because, I mean, I mention it because, like, I don't, I don't know any of that stuff. I honestly, I think it was in unit seven and. I learned enough to get through the example sentences at the time, but I, I didn't work very hard on memorizing any of these words. So today is the day. We're going to start with clothing, work our way back to foods and colors and like really like basic essential stuff that I just need to learn, like actually learn and then move on with my life, right? So if you want to learn clothing vocabulary in Basque with me, Come along for the ride. Um, yeah, I don't even know the words for clothes in, in my dad's Basque dialect. And hopefully this will be easy once I learn these words. I won't be confusing myself with Aitza's words and the new words because like, I don't know Aitza's words. His words, he uses French and Spanish to describe clothes, so. Anyway, here we go. Um, <laughs> so I've got the unit open here on my computer, unit seven, and basically their vocabulary list. They don't like translate, they don't write the word in Basque and the word in English. They basically just have drawings of clothing items with Basque words underneath them. And so this is gonna be a fun interpretive practice of just trying to decipher what <laughs> these clothing items are supposed to be. Cause there's a lot of different shirts here and I'm, I can't really tell from the drawings like what's the difference. So as always, I've got my Basque English Dictionary by my side, so I'll probably have to look up some of these words just to like be sure I know the definition so I don't confuse myself, you know? 
Um, I also do want to mention that I told you guys in, in the first video of this series that a viewer, or viewer, a follower, uh, Matea, she sent me uh, all of her, her Basque lessons um, from when she studied Basque. And so this whole stack of papers is actually really great for this exercise because there's tons of vocabulary in here. So hopefully I will actually stick to this vocabulary booklet concept and, and fill it out with some of that stuff. But to start, just for the purposes of this quiz, I gotta learn the vocabulary that was taught in my course because apparently it will come up on the quiz. So let us begin. Let's see, the first one I think is a dress. It says, Shoinequa, Shoinequa, or I guess Batois, Soinequa. It, it's a beautiful halter dress. <laughs> I don't know if that's specific to the type of dress. I'm just gonna guess in a beginner's class that it just means dress. We're not specifying. So, I actually have a bunch of markers for this project from my from my former life as a an aspiring artist <laughs> I've tried many things in my life anyway focus let's write the word in Basque and the word in English to begin I will write clothing which I believe in Basque is arropak so let's start with the Basque word arropak slash clothing. Okay, here we go. Gosh, why does this even stress me out? I don't know, this whole thing is disconcerting. Okay, so back to dress. Soy nekoa equals dress. I'm sorry if you can hear voices in the background. My uh, neighbor likes to play with his kids outside around the same time I like to do my videos. Um, what are you gonna do? Okay, so mm, let's try to keep it consistent with the ladies' clothes all at once, right? Okay, actually, let me just try to draw this real quick. Let's, let's do this halter dress situation. Okay, that looks like a dress. Oh my God. <sighs> and the kids are always crying. I guess they're young, but it's just like, what's going on over there? But I'm only a nosy neighbor from inside my house. I do not insert myself. Okay, focus. So we got a dress. There's one called a blusa, which I'm guessing is a blouse. So let me, blusa. You know what, I really don't wanna mess this up because I'm doing this all in marker in my nice booklet. So I'm just, I'm just gonna double check all of these words that I'm writing down the right English translation because like if I don't, what am I what am I even doing here? What's the point? <laughs> now is the time to get it right and create some word associations so hopefully it'll stick. Okay, soineko, it says garment clothing or women's dress. Okay, so soinequa is a dress. It's a blusa is bluya. Bluya is how my dad says blue. So it's not Bluya, blusa. Okay. Really? Okay, I think this is the day where I don't use the dictionary because blusa is not in the dictionary and that feels like a pretty basic, feels like a pretty basic word to me, so. But I'm not going to use Google Translate either because I know that's not totally accurate. So I'm going to try a website that somebody recommended. Um, maybe multiple people recommended in the comments. I'm sorry if I don't remember exactly who sent this to me. But I'm going to try, here let me show you. I'm going to try the 
El Huyar Histegiak. So hopefully I'll have better luck with this. Okay, blusa, blouse. <laughs> I know this seems like it should have been obvious, but I, I just really want to make sure I get it right, you know? All right, blusa, blouse. I don't think I'll have too many problems remembering that one. Or this one either, camisoya, camisoya. Camisole? I'm guessing camisoya. Night dress. Oh, I got I got that wrong. It's not a camisole. Okay, because it looked like a dress. It looked like a very long camisole, but camisoya is a night dress. Do ladies in the Basque country wear night dresses? Am I gonna be talking to my new Basque friends about our night dresses? I'm a guess not, but okay. All right, if we gotta learn what a night dress is, let's do that. Oh, let's put next to the night dress the pajama, pyjama. Pyjama? Pyjama, I guess. That one shouldn't be too difficult. You like how I start with like all the words that are pretty similar <laughs> to words I already know? Uh, it's okay, we gotta start, start basic, right? Work our way up. Um, what else? Ooh, this looks delicate. Pareoa, pareoa, pareoa. It looks like a fancy skirt. The word does not appear in the dictionary. Well, that helps. Pareo? Am I gonna have to turn to Google Translate? Yeah, yeah I am. And that's okay. Pareoa. Fast to English. Wow, it's not here either. Okay, this is where I'm gonna phone a friend and ask my YouTube viewers, hey guys, uh, parewa, Serda parewa. It looks like a wrap skirt, so I want to say it's a skirt, but let me ask Google, how do you say skirt? Gona. Wait, that's one of the words on here. That was the first, gona. Okay, well let's, we'll leave parewa for now. Let's just put gona because that should be easy to remember. Four letters. Gona. Let's make it a green skirt. Let's move on to some pants. I'll turn the page, move on to some pants. Okay, this is this is what we got so far. This, this is what I'm working on. Um, so you notice I left Pareoa out because I don't want to put that in permanent marker. Oh. I'm gonna run out of this book real quick. I didn't even anticipate it would bleed, so I gotta do single, single-sided pages. That's okay. Okay, pants. Did I say pants? Let's do. I'm guessing these are jeans. They look like jeans. Vaqueroak. Yeah, like like vaquero. Is that where that comes from? Oh man, histegiak el the histegiak of el huar. Either I'm not using this right or it has no words in here. I think if I used the best to Spanish functionality of this, it might be better because it's just not showing up uh, definitions in English. Gosh. <sighs> Can't I just find one Basque English dictionary that works for everything? Is that too much to ask? I think it is. Okay, well, Google Translate, at least, for the win this time, did confirm that Bakeroak is blue jeans. So, my markers aren't really good enough to uh, do details, so I'm just gonna use blue and make something that kind of vaguely looks like pants. <laughs> Maybe attempt to fly. <laughs> you don't you don't want to see this okay back okay so word association 
Vaqueroac is like vaquero, which is like a cowboy, and cowboys wear jeans. Right? Let's see. What else looks like pants? We got some galza mozak. Looks like shorts. Galza mozak. Yep. The internet has confirmed that's shorts. Oh. So now my drawing is going to look exactly like the jeans. I'm just going to have to try to make them look shorter. Or do I draw legs in these shorts? Yeah, let's try that. Make it weird. Okay. Oh, and I do have, aha, I do have a whole set of flesh colored markers. So this will help. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is bad. <laughs> How do you like them shorts? Look, little circles to represent the knees. Yeah, sure. Galza mozak. That's the most important thing here. I need to remember that. That's a mouthful. Galza mozak. Maybe it'll be easier for me to remember if I know what those two words mean separately. I imagine they mean something separately. You put them together, they mean shorts. So galza says it's trousers. Is that on my vocabulary list? Uh, galzak, yes, is right here on my list, so I should add that next. Mozak, oh, I'm gonna take a while, yes, and mean short? Yeah, okay, mozak. Okay, so once I learned galzak is pants, easy. I've got half of it memorized. Um, so then I'll just have to remember Motzak. So galzak equals pants or trousers. But I'm American. I don't use that word. Let's have some red pants. Yeah, let's be flashy to really distinguish between the galzak and the bakeroak. Jeans and pants are different. Okay. What else? Do we have any more bottoms here on the list? Nope, that's all we got for bottoms. So let's keep it going with tops. We already have the ladies blue saw on the first page. Alcandora. Okay, now that just looks like a button up shirt. It's not a t shirt, I can see that much, but. Alcandora. Okay. It just says shirt, so it's just a generic shirt. Okay, I can get behind that. Alcandora. Okay, so I'll have to try to draw a shirt that doesn't look like the blusa from the first page. Alcandora. Maybe I'll put a attempt to put a collar on it or a V-neck. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> Alcandora shirt. Okay, sure. Um, okay, this, what else do we have? We have Yertsea. Uh, Yertsea. I'm guessing that's a sweater or is it a, a pullover specifically? Google doesn't say. It says it's a sweater. Okay, how am I going to draw that to look different from the shirt? But you know what, this one I think I can remember because it's like it's like a jersey. I think in British English it's like a jersey pullover. It's like a knit sweater, so. Yertsea, jersey. Okay. <sighs> okay, I just drew a really terrible sweater. <laughs> did, I, did I tell you that my career as an artist was short-lived? It's been a while, just like my basque is out of practice, so is my drawing. Okay, so we've got a shirt and a sweater. Let's see, this one says Traia. Traia? Traia. It, it looks like, um, like a sports coat, like a formal jacket. Ah, it says suit. Okay, but the picture only has the jacket. So, but the translation is Suit, so I'm guessing it means like the whole ensemble and not just the suit jacket. All right, let me try drawing a whole suit. Wow, good times. 
Okay. <laughs> this is my attempt at a suit. Okay, tradiera. Suit. What else? We got a berroquia. It's pink and it's checkered. It looks like a women's jacket. Like a coat. Ah, okay. Google confirms, says it's a coat. Berroquia. Oh, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Bero means hot, so it's something to keep you hot in the winter time. Coat. Okay. Okay, wow. And now my neighbor is talking on the phone right outside my house, so really hope you can't hear all that. Because I can, and it's distracting. <laughs> but I will not blame my neighbor for my struggles in learning Basque. It's not his fault. How about chalecoa? I don't even know what this drawing is supposed to be. It looks like a sweater vest, but I feel like that's too specific for vocabulary. It's just a vest, okay? It's a vest. Chalecoa. Chalecoa. Oh, now the fun part is going to be going back and trying to remember all of these words and what they mean. Chalequa is a vest. Okay. <laughs> vest. Okay, I think we have all of the tops on this list. Yeah. Um, we've got... Shall we move on to accessories? Yeah, okay. Um, we've got gorbata, which looks like a necktie because that one yeah that one kind of reminds me of the french word for tie cravat i mean gorbata and cravat they really don't have much in common but for some reason in my mind like they're similar <laughs> let's make it red make it a power tie i think that's the best thing i've drawn all day look at that looks like a tie gorbata tie how about Looks like a belt. Gericoa. Gericoa. When I do these videos, I make an extra effort to say my double R's. Because I don't want to hear it in the comments. Gericoa. It feels very exaggerated. Maybe it sounds right, but it feels forced and awful. <laughs> As somebody who doesn't speak Spanish natively okay Gericoa is a belt how am i gonna draw a belt like brown line oh a buckle maybe let's let's get wild a little yellow for the buckle Gericoa. maybe if i just complain about this word enough i'll remember it Gericoa. oh two r's what a pain Gericoa. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's not. This looks like it could be a watch or <laughs> anything. Okay, Gericoa. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, we've got some Pontiac. It looks like tights. It's just a leg that's covered in things. Pontiac. Oh, Google translated that as panties. But the drawing isn't of panties. Uh, I'm going to guess that that means tights, but I'm going to let you guys confirm it for me in the comments, please, Pontiac, because it's not a picture of panties. It's definitely a picture of like a leg and a foot covered in like red material. Leggings, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how up to date with fashion trends this uh, unit is. I don't know when this curriculum was designed, but. Okay, so I'm going to leave Pontiac over with Pareoa, because not sure on those ones, 100%. Um, so let's move on Ooh, to some high heels. Chakoi, chakoi doing, no. Oh, no, sorry. It's written very small. Takoi dun sapatak. I think that's what that says. Takoi dun sapatak. Sapata, shoes. Um... Takoidun, okay, that's gonna be something to remember. 
I mean, this this just looks like a squash. <laughs> it looks like a pink squash. It's okay. Takoidun sapatak. And then how about with that? We got some socks, it looks like. Galcetinak. Okay. We already saw galtsak is pants. So galcetinak. Okay, so in theory, like once I understand or remember galtsak is pants, I can make the connection between pants, shorts, and socks. Galtsetinak and what was pants, shorts? Galtsa motsak. Oh, let's make them red socks. Oh, now they look like Christmas stockings. <laughs> Okay, um, and then we've only got a couple more accessories on the list. Chapella, which I already know is, oh, maybe I don't know. I was gonna say it's a beret, but no, I think in Batois, Chapella is just the generic name for hat? Or is it specifically a beret? Let me see, what does Google say? Yeah, Google says it's a hat, so. I guess I always associate it with berets because the only time I ever hear chapella used is in association with a beret that's being like won for a competition or something. I'm not gonna confuse myself by drawing some generic hat. I'm just gonna put a beret because like in my mind, like that's the type of hat I associate with this word, but I do need to remember that chapella just means hat, I think. But then my next word is capella. And that has a picture of like a fedora type hat. So <laughs> Google Translate says it's a chapel. Come on, help me out. Okay, let's back to the El Huar Hitsegiak. Oh no. The other Hitsegiak says capella means hat. So let's ask the dictionary. <laughs> it never ends. Can't get a straight answer. Um, I want to say it because it's got cap in it. That like, capella means cap. But this is definitely a picture of like a man's fedora type hat. Not like a baseball cap or anything like that. Capella hat. Please, if you do know the difference between these two words, let me know in the comments if chapella versus capella, if they mean two different types of hat, or are they both synonyms? Like, do they literally both mean any type of hat? I'd appreciate the clarification. I mean, either way, like, I sh should just know that these words mean hat, but it'd be nice to specify. So, okay. <sighs> So uh, I think that's all the words here on my Aropak clothing vocabulary list. Um, if you guys can help me out in the comments, like I said, and demystify what a pareoa and pantiak are and kind of the difference between chapella and capella, if you know, that'd be super nice of you to share. Um, if you want to teach me other words for clothes that are not on this list, please don't. I've got enough work here <laughs> as it is. It's not even that many words. It's maybe like 15, 20 words. Um, but it's I'm going to have to learn them. So the cool thing about having a vocabulary book, right, is that I can, in theory, like just stare at this every day and just turn the pages and remember, hopefully eventually look at it so often and say it out loud so often that eventually I won't even need this book anymore because I'll just know these words. That's the dream, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so there we go. Clothing, done. At least for the purposes of the quiz. I have so much more to learn in general, but for now, this is a good place to start. Teacher, if you're watching, I did what you asked. I'm making a vocabulary book. And I'm gonna try to make it a habit every morning at breakfast to just flip through it and read them out loud. Hopefully that'll help. So 
Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of my daily Yosuke.ra practice, you can subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel and click the bell so you get notified to your account every time I post a video. So you won't miss a thing. And if you are learning Basque too, God bless you. Let's learn it together. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.